Look at God, I swear. I want to. Uh, <laughs> Look at God, hey yo. Trez, I, I want to do the media thing. Um, That's hilarious. When I see the, when I see oh the roster God. of the whole South Division, you have the most main stage experience. You have the most views on the on the battle. You've been on the most cards. You you probably the most battle tested. People would say that you are the best battle rapper in that division. Is it too much expectations for us to say he should make it out of the division? Nah, y'all right. I, I should like you feel me. Like at the same time, all of these guys are dope, but I feel like everybody should feel like they should make it out. But I definitely do. I mean, I, like you said, man, I done been through a lot with this battle stuff. So, like, it's nothing new. You know, it's not extra pressure. It's none of that. I've been on live streams, pay per views, all this million views here, there. I battled on every single card, damn near in the world, all the leagues. So it's just another day in the office. It's just. I just mm. got delivered. Go ahead, Vlad. That's what's up. That's I mean. Yeah, um, man. And as we know, a lot of Zayvon, this dude's been around since the Fight Club days. He's right. had his prime time run, the URL run. You know what I mean? Like every single place ever. Like, is this just another day in the office for you? Like, oh, yeah. Like Definitely. Definitely. I mean, hold, hold on one second. At the end of the day, I mean, Locke put in his work. I can't hear but, him. But I feel like. I feel like my impact with the work I put in is a little crazy. No, absolutely. You having trouble? Like he definitely done his thing. He did what he had to do. Every time he on stage, for the most part, if he's not slipping and stuff, but I don't expect that. I expect a, a well-prepared lot of Zay. But even a well-prepared lot of Zay, I feel like me at my best is a little different. Let's go. Well, you being really humble right now. Nah, nah that's how I am. No, if you meet me, like, I talk like this in person. I do interviews like this. I talk to my brothers, the gang like this. This is how I am. No, nah, he definitely is, yeah. man. I can attest so to that. Let's talk, I, okay, so let's say you get this 50K, right? Mm. What you going to do? Let's talk. Let's let's manifest mm. this. Let's do a homesy. Let's man, manifest only, it. Only like. Because I got you as one of my favorites to win this whole thing. Right. What you going to do with that 50K, though? Like 50, fifteen, nine. like now, nah, like fifteen to twenty of his mind. The rest going to the fam, the gang, the bros, and shit like that. Um, okay, oh. come on. And then That's with my up. with mine, I'm taking I'm taking like five, ten of that. I'm gonna put it in my um my stock in my mm. trading accounts, Fine. and then um put some on the music tip and all that good stuff. You know, pay little. You know what I mean? Like some grown man shit with it. You yeah. smart. Fire. How long you been in the trading game? Uh, almost a year now. Nice, nice. What got you into it? Or who got you into it, if you're my man? My bro, one of my bros. I ain't gonna lie, my bro, Don. He had me in a battle rap. He probably be all over this motherfucker. Been on y'all Twitter before or something. But he he was working. Like, this is my bro, bro. He was working. Then he started trading and fucking with the stocks. And probably, like, two months later, he quit. Hmm. And um, I'm still, you feel me, just regular smegular degular. But then, like, time passing, he just leveling up. He taking vacations and trips and all this other shit. And I'm like, my bro. What's up? <laughs> he like, bro, I've been trying to tell you about this shit. Like, you playing. And then I was like, fuck it, you feel me? Like, what's up? And then from there, it just. Yo, for new traders, there's always that time frame where you got to get your mind right, the anxiety of hey, it. Yo, no cap, up bro. I was, I was and on, down. I was on a demo yesterday. Mm -hmm. I was on a demo showing my man something yesterday, bro. I woke up to two racks in that bitch. I was like, oh, I should have went on my live. Right. Account, bro. <laughs> I should have went on. Exactly. I was on US 30, bro. I was salty, bro. Mm -hmm. I was sick. I was Oh, sick. man. That's all part of the game, man. One. Yeah. You could, you could lose it's it. It's such an though. illegal hustle, man. Like, it's so crazy. You get all the excitement of everything. Without any of the worries or yeah, looking over your shoulder yeah, or anything wow, else that bro. comes with it, man. But, but yeah, we gotta let that, people know you can up. take big L's too. So people oh, they ain't all win. You can take big, big L's. But yeah, if I get yeah. that, if I get that 50 though, it's yeah, it, like I said, I ain't gonna have all 50 of it. Not even a little less than half, but it's gonna be in good hands. And you're in the you're in the south, you gotta buy some you gotta buy some property out there, right? Uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you, bro. Look, I'm all for the people and my people and everything, bro. But at the same time, like you gotta, you gotta take care of home first. Like, 
Because mm -hmm. if, if shit, like, it's like a domino, right? So if, if I'm not good, you not good, and shit, CC and Vlad not good, and one of us fall, then we all gonna fall. But if somebody's mm -hmm. straight, then somebody gonna be able to catch somebody. I wanna be that somebody that could catch, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So I just gotta make sure I'm home straight, like everything, home, the gang, it gotta, it gotta branch out, family, the gang, they, you know what I mean? They gotta just keep building. And then we yeah. can talk property and shit. Everyone That's can be each other's crutches. Y'all could buy property together. You know what I'm saying? Facts, but like I, it, it got a, it's like it's like an assembly line, man. Yeah, like, you could have a whole <laughs> chef block. You know what I mean? You, you and Look, if you, like I, Rick Ross said, buy back the block. I'm Shoot. trying to tell you. There's a I want, I want everybody on their shit when shit like that happen because I I really want like that to be fire. Like I want to go for me. I don't want to tell you with no bullshit. Trez, you got you know tons of family, tons of friends, tons of gang, and you seem to be a dude who's always in the forefront, very level-headed. Talk to the people like, how is it being the dude that's out in the forefront that everyone knows from your community, from your set, from your family, and the responsibility that everyone puts on your shoulders? And you speaking about it now, the responsibility of making sure that everyone else is okay. As a 26-year-old man, like, talk to me about what that's like having to handle is that. Is is lit and it's terrible. Mm. It's lit because it's like you feel me. It make you feel like, like, all right, cool. I'm a man. People respect me as a man. I don't know what it is, but like, I don't really like that little boy shit. Like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I don't like none of that shit. I like to. I like to be on my grown man. I like to people to understand that as well. Like when you meet me, understand I am a grown man. I'm I'm serious about my business. Um, so it's lit, but then it's terrible because don't nobody care about how you're doing for it. Mm. It's like people. People, they it's what you doing more than how you doing. Mm. So that like that shit be bothering me because I ain't gonna lie. I'm like I'm like one of them. I be down a lot. You feel me? Like I be sad, mm. bad, but you'll never know because I gotta keep that shit strong going. But motherfuckers don't ask how are you doing, how you feeling, shit like that. When you're that person, they well, don't. How are you doing, man? How, how you Bye, doing sir, today? Are you okay? Oh yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, facts. I'm Did you eat, Trez? Did you eat? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, finna I'm finna smoke too, but you feel what I'm saying? It's like it got its pros and cons. Like, cause then people, yeah. people no longer really care about how you're doing. It's more so what you're doing. And then it's like mm -hmm. when you're not doing those things anymore, then a lot of people you don't hear from anymore. So it's like it has its pros and cons. I want to say when you when you mentioned that like being a strong person I, and I, I implore everybody in the audience as well that's listening and watching this check on your strong friends because you know they're always the ones that will check on you and sometimes that yeah, your strong that, friends really be the weak ones on God like <laughs> mm. you know they, they they're the ones just waiting for that one person to ask the them time, how they doing way on you bro yeah, like, no yeah well, how do you so get through those tough times when you feel like you know down or like things are so um, happening? well. Shit, honestly, for me, like 2018, when I battled Wavy, um, my little brother died that same day when yeah, I was on stage. Yeah. And then, uh, Rest you know, the next day, there, another yeah. a, 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 another close person died. And then since then, I lost my grandmother, my uncles, so another close friend. Like, I, I took a lot of losses, but every single one of those people, they knew what I was doing and they motivated me to keep doing it. Hmm. So just for them, like, I'm going to just keep it going. Yeah, man. Sorry to hear about your losses, brother. And um, oh, yeah. I commend your strength, man. I definitely commend your strength. And I'm glad that you're able to come on here and talk about that and share that because we know what? brothers like to keep things in and then people wonder why they're so aggy, why they're jumping, snapping yeah. at people. It's because you ain't talk about shit yet and it's all yeah. inside of you. And nah, it's that, like, yeah, we got to you know change I mean? that too as, as, as black men. We got to stop thinking like we can't express ourselves, we can't talk. Like I tell people, yo, I'm emotional, I'm a sap, I'm all that, but at the same time, I will beat your ass. So I don't mind telling you. So I, you feel me? I don't mind. I don't, I don't wanna beat I, your ass, man. I don't, I, don't feel less of, I don't feel less of a man telling somebody like, like something is real going on, because at the end of the day, when shit get real, I'm like that too. So you don't have to, you know, just completely disregard something just because you're one way. Like, nah, bro, if that's how you are, that's how you are. Man, yeah. we gotta understand, like, you gotta speak that shit, express it. Cause a lot of times our bros, the people we think are laughing at us feel the same way. They just gotta hear it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a fact, man. You don't know how many of your friends would be going through crazy yeah. stuff, like on the verge of being kicked out their crib, on the verge of like Everything. losing it all. And they just smiling and chilling with you, drinking with you like nothing ever yeah. happened. And meanwhile, everything's just dangling by a shoestring. Right? Everything crazy. That's a fact. And, and it happens a lot, but people don't, they don't talk, they don't talk about it. So everybody feel alone when the whole time they got a whole community going through it with them. They just want to express it to each other. 
Yeah, man. It just it just sucks the industry that we're in because it feels like when you kind of want to be vulnerable, people there's gonna be somebody that say, "Oh, let me put that in my notepad for a round later." It's like, yeah, don't be a nah, weirdo. You gotta like, stop like, thinking yeah. about yeah. You gotta stop thinking about that for a round later. Then right. For a battle and this and that. Like that shit don't matter. Like I don't, man. Listen, niggas rap that shit after after the battle. That's what, that's it. Not ninety nine percent of these niggas just there for their money and to have a good battle. They gonna say they might say some disrespectful foul shit, but it should be line set. Like it's certain shit that if somebody say to me, yeah, it's up, but mm -hmm. nobody crossed that line. Yeah, I wouldn't disrespect someone to that extent. I don't do that. You feel me? So they got to stop thinking just battle rap. Like it's real life shit. If somebody want to put that in their round, then that's just they weird ass. Like. Right now, on the 